coming from Alaska, we're a producing state. We want to be able to provide more for this country in terms of meeting our energy needs. We've got the resource. We've just got to have the policies that allow us to develop this resource. And that's what this legislation is about. We're talking about the production side of the energy puzzle right now. Think back to what we did with the Energy Act of, of 05 and the Energy Act of 07. There was a real focus, certainly in the 07, on the conservation and the efficiency pieces of how we meet our energy needs. We focused on the renewables, gave great, great emphasis in those areas. But the one thing that we really have failed to do in our comprehensive energy policy is to address the production piece, the supply side of it. And that's what today's conversation is about. This is how we meet this ever-growing demand. And we can do it in an environmentally sensitive way. And that's not just a nice buzzword, a nice catchphrase. We need to be doing it right. And what we demonstrate in this country is that with the technologies that we have, we can do it. But we have been saddled by the, the way that we used to do business. Well, I can tell you, come up to my state of Alaska, come up to the oil fields, look at how we did, we did business in Prudhoe Bay 30 years ago. The technology was different then. What we're doing today with directional drilling, going down under the surface, not disturbing the surface area, not affecting the wildlife or the, the, the waterfowl that may be there, allowing those who live on the land to continue to live on the land, to not add at any degree of, 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 of spoilage in an area that we want to keep as, as environmentally sound as we possibly can. Allow us to use the technologies that we have in place. So when we're asking for finally, finally for permission to open up Anwer, we're saying, hey, we're willing to take the safeguards. We're willing to restrict it to 2,000 acres of impacted area. We're telling you that we will only explore in the wintertime using the ice roads that will allow us to keep this area looking like you never saw man's footprint there. Allow us to use the technologies that this country has pioneered to develop a resource that this country needs. And it's not just in the oil fields, it's what we can do with our natural gas, it's what we can do with OCS. Think about what happened after Hurricane Katrina and Rita out in the Gulf. With all those rigs out there, did you see the news stories about, about the spills in the Gulf? No, you didn't, because we've got the technology that has allowed us to produce there and provide this country with a level of resource at a level of environmental protection. We've got to give ourselves credit for what we do right. We've got to be allowed to produce domestically, to produce for America.